Howdy folks, this is Checkers, back with another Fallout 4 Let's Play. This time we're back with Episode 9. We are about to talk to the folks that we rescued, and let's see what happens. Man, I don't know who you are, but your timing's impeccable. Preston Garvey, Commonwealth Minuteman. God damn it. Glad to help. Well, if that's true, we could use some more goodwill. As you can see, we're in a bit of a mess here. Nope. Please, go on. A month ago, there were 20 of us. Yesterday, there were eight. Now we're five. First, it was the ghouls in Lexington, and now this mess. Sorry. Sounds rough. Thanks. Maybe. It's good to meet someone who nope. really cares. Anyway, we figured Concord would be a safe place to settle. Those raiders proved us wrong. God but damn it. Well, we do have one idea. One good idea can make all the difference. Sturgis, tell him. There's a crashed vertebrate up on the roof. Old school, pre-war. You might have seen it. Well, looks like one of its passengers left behind a seriously sweet goodie. We're talking a full suit of Cherry T-45 power armor. Oh. Military issue. I like it. <laughs> yeah, I thought you might. Protection with an added bonus. Get the suit. You can rip the minigun right off the vertibird. Do that, and those raiders get an express ticket to hell. You dig? Minigun. Now we're talking. I know, right? Only there's one hitch. The suit's out of juice. Probably been dry for a hundred years. It can be powered up again. But we're a bit stuck. I'll help if I can. What you'll need is an old pre-war FC. A standardized fusion core. Your high-grade, long-term nuclear battery used by the military and some companies way back when. And we know right where to find one. But we can't get to the damn thing. It's down in the basement, locked behind a security gate. Look, I fix stuff. I tinker. Bypassing security ain't exactly my forte. You could give it a shot. Can't be too hard. I'll see what I can do. Well, all right. Maybe our luck's finally turning around. Once you jack the core into the power armor and grab that minigun, those raiders will know they picked the wrong fight. Good luck. Thanks. Okay, so fusion core, power armor, stuff. Alrighty, dog, let's roll. Okay, below us, I think. Is there. Oh, hey, there's a fellow that we took down yesterday. So. Hmm. Okay, down is over there. And... Ooh! Ambiance. Alrighty, here we go. Here's our door. Unlock gate. Eleven bobby pins remaining. And that's it. Fusion core. It's okay, boy. Oh, 
Subco Fun. Bingo. Atomic Command Holotape. So this is a, a an homage to the old Missile Command game. We'll go ahead and pick that up. You're not what I expect. Oh, and a careful, kid. There's something coming, and, and it's, it's angry. No, no, no. All right. No, no. A perception bobblehead. Hell yeah. Only through observation will you perceive weakness. Your perception has been permanently increased by one. You need help. Can you get a vault dweller? What are you going to do in that stupid jumpsuit? Bleed to death? Alrighty. Well then. Woke up to a friendly new world. Oh hey, there's the vertibird's engine. So a vertibird is like a modern day osprey. It's a, a vertical takeoff airplane kind of thing and power armor is just the coolest stuff ever think of it as being inside a walking tank a walking tank with incredible protection some extra strength uh, pretty much can jump off with just about anything at least in this one and not hurt yourself in this Fallout 4 I mean and um yeah, cool deal. This would be T-45 power armor. Okay. Tap stash. A log. Personal log. United States Army Staff Sergeant Michael Daly. This past Saturday, October 23rd, while en route to West Stockbridge, a vertebrate crashed into the roof of this museum. The cause? EMP following nuclear detonation. Several, in fact. From the intel I've gathered, this was a global event. The co-pilot was killed on impact. The pilot died of his injuries a day later. The day after that, Flaherty and Kanawa were shot by some scared, desperate survivors. Then Brzezanski took off running. Haven't seen him since. Now, it's my turn to go AWOL, if that concept even applies anymore. My armor's fusion core is burned out, so I guess my soldering days are done. I'm heading to Boston, on foot, to see if my sister survived all this. She's got an apartment on Boylston Street. This is Mike Daly, signing out. Good luck, and God bless America. Or what's left of it. Alrighty, folks. Uh, we're coming up on our time. A little bit shorter this time, but before we uh, hop into the armor and roll, I think we should stop here and we'll pick up again in episode 10. So I'd like to thank you for watching. I hope you found this informative and a little entertaining. I'd like to invite you to subscribe and ask you to please take care.